What does Mark Zuckerberg's house have in common with the White House? What does Apple have in common with Microsoft? What does the Pentagon have in common with the University of Memphis? What could virtually every Fortune 500 boardroom possibly have in common with your house? Well, Crestron control, that's what. Now there are a lot of different ways that you can control your Crestron system. You can use a simple radio frequency remote like this one, even a little bit more fancy types that have LED touchscreens built into them, or the most popular way of all, with your iPad or the phone that you already have in your pocket. So in this video, I'm gonna show you which app to buy, how to set it up, and give you a little crash course on how to use it. So let's get started. So from the App Store, we're going to do a search for Crestron, C-R-E-S-T-R-O-N. That's going to bring up several different possibilities. We're interested in Crestron for iPad. And if this is our phone, it will just say Crestron. But the icon is going to be a grayish silver with a black Crestron logo in the middle. We're not interested in Mobile Pro or any of the other apps on here. Just Crestron for iPad with that silver icon. All right, so once you've downloaded the app, you'll be directed to do an in-app purchase, which is $99, both from the iTunes Store and Amazon Marketplace. And it will bring you, after you've purchased it, to a screen where you can add your Crestron system. All we're going to do is hit the little plus in the bottom right-hand corner, and then it'll bring up the parameters page. Now, most of this we can ignore. The only thing we have to do is give it a friendly name. So I'm going to call this one Home. And then we're going to type in the IP address of the host Crestron processor. And in this case, it's going to be 192.168.1.150. And that's true with most of the processors that we put in our homes. We generally keep the processor address the same. If it's different, your Crestron uh, technician with AVA will tell you what the number will be. And we're going to have, the only difference is that each iPad will have its own unique IP ID. So that way you can use multiple iPads simultaneously without them crossing over one another and trying to control the same thing. In this particular case, my ID is going to be 0D. But your Crestron programmer, again, with AVA, will tell you what the address is that you need to put in for your various iPads, iPhones, etc. So that's it. Once we're done with that, all we have to do is hit Save. It's going to take us back to this page. Now I have Home, which is the friendly name of the system. I'm just going to select that. It's going to bring up the interface, download it, and now I'm ready to go. Once the app loads, I'm watching TV. And now I'm ready to watch TV. All I have to do is select the room that I'm in, select the source that I want to play in that room. Everything happens for me. I don't have to know anything. In this case, the art's going to come up and reveal the TV screen if this is in a hearth room or a living room or somewhere where you don't want to see an ugly TV all the time. TV's going to automatically come on. The surround receiver will start playing the sound. And I've got all the controls that I need right in front of me, just like I would normally have with my Direct TV remote. All ready to go. Easy. When I'm done, all I have to do is hit room off. Everything goes off. Art comes down over the TV. Nothing to it. Ready to go. Now, of course, I can do a lot more things with my Crestron touch panel than just control my television. For one, I can control every television in the house. So not only can I control the hearth room like we just saw, but I can control a theater, kitchen TV, bedroom TV. And the cool thing is, is that those TVs will all work exactly the same way. So there's consistency. Um, most houses, when you go from the bedroom TV to the home theater TV to the hearth room TV, they all operate a different way. They all have different remotes. You have to do different things to make the sound come on and all that good stuff. Whereas with our system, every TV in the house has consistent ease of use, nothing to it. So everybody in the house is guaranteed to be able to operate everything just fine. Now, I also can do music. I also can do music throughout the house. So I can simply just select a room, select the source that I want to play in that room. 
Got my volume here. Album art. I can browse other things, internet, radio, Pandora, you name it. There's all sorts of sources that we can, uh, can incorporate for your house music system. And it all works through that same application. I don't have to go to a different app to be able to get the music. And because both the music and the television are integrated onto the same control platform, I actually can have the TV sound come through the house speaker. So if I'm in the bedroom and I select the bedroom TV, I can have the sound from the bedroom TV come through the speakers that are normally used for the music system in the ceiling. So I get a lot better sound out of the television that way. Of course, I can control the thermostats in my house. I can see in real time the temperature in all the zones in the house. I can do schedulers and all sorts of really cool things with it as well. Here again, all through the same app. I don't have to have an individual app like I would have with Nest or something like that. I can control my alarm system through this, uh, through this same app. So I can disarm and arm the system right here. I can see the status of open zones if there were open zones. I can control my lighting. So I can tie every light in the house to uh, controlled lighting if I would like to. And here again, because it all resides on the same platform, my lighting and my alarm can talk to one another. So if the alarm were to go off, it could turn on every light in the house. And that makes it a lot more effective. That's gonna possibly scare off a burglar, whereas a dark house might not. So that's it. The Crestron Control app for your phone or your iPad, custom programmed by Audio Video Artistry, especially for you. For more information, check us out on the web at www.avartistry.com. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, all that good stuff, and we'll see you again next time.